today is Sunday, February 26th, and I am about a week and a half late on this, but today I am going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 predictions for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Now, I promise I haven't seen the movie yet, or else I wouldn't be making a predictions video. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that, like, no one sees this video, but I really still wanted to make it because I always use these predictions videos as the jumping off point for my reviews. It's kind of just the process I've got for all the new MCU movies, so I didn't want to go without posting these before seeing the film. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping no one sees this for two reasons. One, because then they might comment spoilers before I see the movie which I really hope doesn't happen, and two, because at this point I'm sure I'm wrong about so many things and you guys already know that I'm wrong about all those things and so, I don't know, it just feels kind of weird, but I wanted to get this out so I could start by reacting to my predictions with my review when I post it on Tuesday. So yes, I'm gonna be seeing Quantumania on Tuesday. You may have been wondering, what on earth, how have you not seen Quantumania yet? It came out a week and a half ago and don't you always go and see it opening weekend or opening night? And that's true, I had tickets, but last weekend, uh, my husband and I were like pretty sick and so we didn't wanna go spread that around or be coughing in the movie theater or, you know. <laughs> We didn't think it was gonna be that fun. Then we were gonna see it maybe this weekend, but we ended up deciding to go on Tuesday so that we could go for $5 Tuesdays, but also so that I could rewatch the other Ant-Man movies with my sister. So yesterday I just rewatched Ant-Man 1 and Ant-Man and the Wasp, and man, I love those movies. They're both really good. And then today I also decided, you know, why don't I just also rewatch the parts of Civil War and Endgame with Ant-Man? <laughs> Ant-Man. The parts of Civil War and Endgame with Ant-Man in them. So I did that as well. I was planning on making this video a lot earlier today. That obviously didn't happen because I did decide to do that and ended up watching most of Endgame. I was skipping through to just the Ant-Man parts at first, but then once I was halfway through, I, I'm pretty sure I just ended up watching the whole movie once they got back to after the time heist. But anyway, it's been fun rewatching all the Ant-Man stuff. I really love Ant-Man. I am super excited for this film. If you've seen my trailer reactions, I've mentioned that it's probably my highest anti anticipated MCU movie of this year. I'm probably my highest anticipated MCU anything in the foreseeable future other than Loki season two, which is top, 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 tippity top of my list. But anyway, I am ready to get into my predictions. I wrote down 10 predictions. If you have seen one of my videos like this before, you know the drill. If not, real quick, what I do is in order to come up with predictions, I come up with 10 questions that I have to answer. And I, they're all gonna be questions that have a somewhat definitive answer. So I'm gonna answer them based on what I think is gonna happen. And then when I film my review on Tuesday, part of what I'm gonna do is <laughs> react to my predictions predictions. The goal is always to get at least 50% of them right. That's usually where I'm sitting. We'll see how well I do on this one. But this time around I've got 10 questions and they're not really in any organized order. They're kind of just in the order of which I thought of them. But anyway, let's get to the predictions. Okay, prediction number one is answering the question, does Scott die? Now, I really hope not. My prediction is no. I've heard some people throwing your dad around that it might be something that happens in this movie, and I really hope not. Oh, by the way, speaking of the fact that I haven't seen the movie yet, and I'm hoping not to get spoilers and stuff, I have been staying away from Marvel stuff the past week and a half, so like, usually I lurk around like Marvel subreddits and stuff like that and whatnot, but in the past week and a half I've been scrolling away from pretty much everything Marvel just to avoid spoilers, and so I haven't gotten any spoilers about the movie at this point. Please don't comment any down below. But yeah, anyway, so I feel like I heard people bring this up before that it might happen, and I'm gonna say no, because mainly, other than I don't want it to happen, but that's not necessarily a good reason. Mainly because I, I feel like in order to respect his character, he needs to make it through to 
like at least to Kang Dynasty because they're introducing the new big bad in his movie. So like how disrespectful would it be to Scott Lang's character if they introduced Kang in his movie and then killed him off immediately? Like I don't think they're gonna do that so I'm gonna say no, he's not gonna die. Prediction number two, will there be a clear-cut reference or connection to Loki the TV show? If you've been around for the past year or so, I have asked Ask this same question for predictions regarding Multiverse of Madness and Thor 4. For Multiverse of Madness, I said that there would be and there wasn't. Of course there should have been. It was multiverse stuff, but it wasn't ready for that yet. In Thor 4, I decided it probably the timing wasn't right to do that, even though, you know, Loki's character was first introduced in Thor. We wouldn't get like the connection because the timing wasn't exactly right for that film, and I was right. At least that about that part that we didn't get a reference to the Loki TV show. And part of my reasoning was I expected to hopefully see it in Quantumania in this film because of Kang and He Who Remains and the obvious connection between those two. So I think yes that this movie is going to have some sort of connection, reference, credit scene, something that connects back to the Loki TV show. I think it's time that we finally get that. I hope so. Okay, prediction number three. Why does Kang specifically ask Scott for help? So the reason why I'm asking this question is because in the trailer we see Scott and Kang talking and Kang promises that he can, you know, give Scott what he wants, time, whatever, to go back up to the, you know, normal world and to have time, more time with Cassie and whatnot if he helps out Kang, but we don't know exactly what deal is struck there, and so we're not sure why he's specifically asking Scott. So my answer to this kind of has two parts, because one, I think part of, like, what he needs is Pym Particles to be able to get back up to, uh, to, to be able to get out of the quantum realm. And so, and then part two is because um, I think that because of the fact that Scott participated in the time travel in Endgame, that makes him specifically, like, the person for that job that Kang needs. Because, like, otherwise he could ask Hank, or Janet, or Hope, or Cassie, maybe. But I think that specifically because Scott has traveled in time using Pym Particles, that he specifically is going to be useful to Kang for Kang to be able to get out of the quantum realm. Okay, prediction number four, how well does Janet know Kang? In the second trailer for Quantumanium, we saw that she knows him somehow, but just from the trailers, we don't know like how well she actually knows him. So my prediction for this is that at some point in time when Janet was down in the quantum realm, she worked with Kang, but then he turned on her and so that's why she knows that he's bad news. Prediction number five, are we going to see the multiverse? You know, we are on to phase five and everything's just gonna be multiverse now, right? Maybe, maybe not. Now we know we're gonna see the quantum realm, which is technically like another dimension in microscopic, mi microscopic, in microscopic space. But I mean like by this question, are we going to see any alternative timelines? And I'm going to say yes, because we need to find out who Kang is and why he's so bad. And so I think that at some point we will see some alternative timeline or at least be told about an alternative timeline about Kang. Whew! That's only half of them, oh my goodness. I think the rest of these are a little bit shorter in terms of questions and my answers to the questions for the predictions. But number six, will there be a time jump because of the time spent down in the quantum realm? Now, I didn't think about this question until I was rewatching um, Endgame today and I realized I forgot about the fact that when Scott was stuck down in the quantum realm, it was five years, but it only felt like five hours, I think is what he said. And so I thought about that and I'm like, well, they're gonna spend like most all of the movie down in the quantum realm. Is there gonna be some time jump up in normal, the normal timeline because of this? And <clears throat> my answer to this is no, just because I think that served a specific plot purpose 
in Endgame, and I think that most of the movie for Quantumania is gonna take place in the Quantum Realm, and so coming back up and having had a whole bunch of time pass, like, the opposite of Narnia, seems like it's not something they would just leave for the end of the film. It is Marvel though, so maybe, but I'm just gonna say no. I don't think there's gonna be a time jump from their time spent down in the quantum realm. Prediction number seven, why is Kang in the quantum realm in the first place? And I think that, you know, based on our limited knowledge of alternate versions of Kang from the Loki TV show, I think that he who remains part of what happened when he used Eliath to separate the sacred timeline and to destroy all the other timelines or whatever. Part of what he did was he wasn't actually able to destroy this version of Kang and rather he trapped him down in the quantum realm and that was more effective than just like you know, killing him altogether. So that's what that prediction is. He who remains trapped him down in the quantum realm. Prediction number eight is that king, the same king as is going to be the villain in the future, you know, phase five, phase six of the MCU. Like, are we working with just another iteration? Like, with Loki? Or are we working with, like, the king? And I guess the other part to this, is it the same king? that is running the TVA at the end of Loki season one. I'm not necessarily gonna answer that part because that's probably not something that's gonna be revealed until Loki season two. Or I'll answer it but not necessarily score myself off of that part during the review process because we probably won't have a confirmed answer to that yet. But anyway, <clears throat> is it the same Kang as will be the villain Kang for the rest of phase five and phase six? And I'm going to say yes. And the way we'll know is that he doesn't die at the end. <laughs> if he doesn't die at the end and he is teased to continue on and become a villain for the overarching Avengers storyline for the foreseeable future, then yes, it is the same king and I think it is. Prediction number nine, we are back. Similar to question number one, will anyone die? Will someone die? I already said Scott won't but someone else might. And by someone, I don't mean just like random bystanders or background people fighting in a battle or something. I mean like of the main characters, like the main heroes. And I'm gonna say yes, who? Hank. I think it makes the most sense for him out of everyone else if we're really just looking at Scott, Hope, Janet, Hank, and Cassie. I already said why I don't think Scott will die. I don't think Janet would die because we spent all of Ant-Man and the Wasp bringing her back from the quantum realm, so I don't think they're gonna just nix her right after that. Cassie, I doubt it because they want to have her a potential um, hero for, you know, Young Avengers, so then it's Hope and Hank. And I think between those two, it's more likely to be Hank because he's like the older generation. And like if they keep going with Ant-Man with maybe like Scott showing Cassie the ropes or something, then Hank's role is like no longer needed. Now, of course, more than one person could die or none of them could die, but that's just my prediction for this. Does someone die? If so, who? Yes. Hank. And last but not least, question prediction 10. Will Cassie take up Scott's mantle at the end of the movie? And I think yes. I already said this a little bit about why, you know, they wouldn't kill her off, is that I think that they'll want to have her, I don't know what they would call her, but, because obviously she's not going to be an Ant-Man, um, and maybe they do kill off Hope and make her a new wasp, or maybe the, she's her own, but I think she will get like her own suit and to be able to have, you know, the Ant-Man powers and have that be available for her to be, you know, one of the Young Avengers in future movies as those come up. Wow, <clears throat> that was a lot. My sore, my sore is throat. My throat is sore. I think I've been yelling at the camera for a little bit too long. Um, you probably hear it in my voice. It sounds a little creaky. <clears throat> anyway, 
Those are my top 10 predictions for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Let me know down in the comments. Hmm. Should I invite any comments? This is the question. If you have not seen the film, let me know down in the comments what your top predictions are for Quantumania. If you have seen the film, then type your very best fake spoiler down in the comments. Something that totally doesn't happen, completely ridiculous, give me all the fake spoilers. Then if anyone does happen to post a real spoiler, I will think that it is not true. That's a good idea. Maybe it's not, but it's a fun idea. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, which you can do by clicking over there. Click the notification bell so you can be notified on Tuesday, hopefully, when I post my review after seeing the film. And check out some more videos. Up top you can find one of my trailer reactions for Quantumania, and underneath that you can find a playlist of all my MCU related videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh my gosh, my throat!